Hey, what's up everybody? Batjack JW here, and I get the question a lot. How's the, how is those Cimarrons? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they junk? <laughs> uh, Cimarron imported. Uh, Pieta Italy. These are the single actions. Cult clones, if you would. Uh, for me, being in the uh, independent movie stuff, uh, they work great because they're really close to the original cult single actions. Now, not down to the uh, finer points of, you know, well, the screw placement and all this, but they, they do do the job really well on the big screen. As uh, Speaking of the big screen, as both these were featured on the big screen in a really cool Western film called a John Doe Western, and they... They were both on the big screen, bigger than life, right there. They got some really good uh, uh, camera time, FaceTime, if you would, for both of my single actions right here. So uh, this one here is the Frontier model, I guess, uh, the in, more inexpensive one, not like the Model P or anything. And then this one here is uh, costs a little bit more because this is actually the what they call the Rooster Shooter. This was the one that got me into these because... This was uh, made to replicate John Wayne's gun. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Duke and everything. Uh, these are just wonderful. This gun here has definitely got a really smooth action. I did the uh, antiquing myself. Custom made my own grips for it to kind of look like Duke's grips. And this is the one right here. This In this exact uh, way it is with those grips, we're featured on that movie. So that's really cool. Uh, some big pluses for them is they do have the... Firing pin mounted on the hammer as they should. As you'll see when they're down, the firing pin protrudes through the frame into the cylinder. That's why you would want to load uh, five rounds and keep that uh, hammer on an empty cylinder. Now, here's the slick thing about Cimarron, or I should call it correctly, the Pieta Italy's. Cimarron's just the importer. But uh, the way they did the safety on these, it's not a big protruding lever or something that would compromise uh, for instance, uh, something that might not be closer to the period correct as you can get. Um, again, you know, not say, you know, the screw placement on the left side, you know, tilted out slightly to the right, that's period correct. We're not worried about all that. On screen, on camera, these look the best without having to break the bank with, you know, two, three thousand dollar Colts running around. But the way they did is actually on the base pin, pin, um, You'll notice there's two notches right there. The first notch where it clicks into place is the basically where you would want to keep the gun for firing. See the firing pin coming through there. Now, if I pull it back a little bit now, we can push the base pin in further into that first notch on the top. Now, if I were to cock it and bring it down, see how it's not there because that base pin is now protruding through the frame on the inside just a little bit more uh, to stop the hammer coming completely down. So it kind of stops it right there. So I, I do like the fact that they did that, that it's uh, more of a discreet safety, if you would, and doesn't take away any the integrity of it being somewhat close to the original single actions, of course. Now, they do make ones with the screw there that would identify it as being a black powder frame or whatnot. So they, uh, but you know, for the money, for the, like I said, for the four, four to five hundred dollar range, um, you got a pretty good deal, you know, going through. You got everything is, uh, you know, on the, on the sides, you got the screws, you even got some cool patent dates right there going on. And you got the one, two, three, four clicks, open the loading gate. Notice that doesn't do anything, you got to put it on half cock. Now you got the loading gate or the uh, cylinder freed up and everything. That loading gate doesn't really have anything to do with it. So it is indeed uh, in many ways close to the real thing. But there you go. I love them. They're fantastic, especially for the money. And they're a lot of fun to take to the range. I'm Batjack JW. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.